Hey there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue here on YouTube. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be talking about just all the upgrades and all the new things going on here in my little home project studio. Uh, this room actually flooded that back wall, the carpet, all of this stuff got replaced. So I've upgraded my room. Uh, I'm still kind of trying to decorate it. I'm not very good at that. I've got my new Mac Studio computer, which is running amazingly. I'm super stoked about that. And then I got a glorious sound desk, all this stuff. I've spent a bunch of money and uh, I'm just really excited because right now I just went into OBS and played through Pro Tools and I was on a 2014 MacBook Pro and had so many issues and it really kind of hindered a lot of what I wanted to do with the Home Studio Rescue YouTube channel. And so now uh, the gloves have come off. I can do screen capture in Pro Tools without any problems. Uh, I did have to update my Pro Tools for the home uh, for the Mac Studio, and Pro Tools works flawlessly. I've downloaded a lot of my plugins. Everything's working very well, except for Slate Digital right now. Slate Digital is still a little glitchy at times, uh, and they aren't fully supported. But Arturia plugins are supported. Universal Audio, I just downloaded their Spark stuff as well. And so I'm going to be making videos talking about that. Uh, just everything that I need, I've been able to use so far. Uh, Easy Drummer, all that stuff. And so I'm still setting up this room here. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. And I'm super excited to just be making videos again. And uh, really, the last six months has really been kind of difficult after this room flooded. Um, it wasn't terrible. It's just the carpet got wet and part of the walls had to be taken out. And luckily insurance covered a lot of it. So I'm very fortunate for that. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. And um, I'm also probably going to walk around the room and show you guys a little bit of what's going on here as well. All right, guys. So this is my little studio tour. It's very honest. And you can see my crappy office chair. And so this is my glorious sound desk here. I'm really happy with it, but I'm trying not to uh, hide anything in this video. I could have cleaned all this stuff up uh, and tried to make it look as nice as possible, but honestly, that just isn't me. I'm still struggling with my cable mess underneath the desk. I have an idea of how I'm going to fix that. You can see my wireless router, all this stuff. Um, you see all these videos on YouTube where... People have these amazing, beautiful studios, and I mean, obviously, I'm trying to improve this room, um, but I've made some mistakes along the way. Uh, <laughs> just picking out decorations or uh, furniture, all that stuff. This is going to be my little uh, YouTube lounge area right here. Um, that's a matte black wall, and I have some yellow lighting I'm going to put up. Obviously, I still need to put some curtains by that window there. This is, this is just my room, you know, I'm not hiding anything. Uh, this is the closet here. I'm even going to show you my, uh, <laughs> where I'm putting all my stuff. That's my old cabinet. It's been in a bunch of videos and where all my guitars and all that jazz go. Um, but at this point, you know, it's like you spend a lot of time with YouTube, or at least I have trying, I mean, I'm not a video guy. I'm not, I'm just trying to figure out, here's my backyard. I'm just trying to be transparent. There's my old studio chair or my chair that's been with me since I had a basement recording studio. And I've never really, like, this is the first time where I've really started to put money into trying to make my, my studio look good, and I'm still trying to figure it out. So this is just an honest look. Uh, my HOA is going to love that chair uh, underneath my desk, and uh, the grass needs to be cut, so that's real. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, this is pretty much it. I'm even going to show you the bathroom. This has been renovated. So this flooring here is hardwood, fake hardwood laminate. Uh, and so this is my mess right now. Um, but overall, I'm super happy with how everything is. Uh, my wife told me the color of the desk would not match the flooring and all that. And I've kind of made it work. Originally, I had the desk uh, with the black wall and that carpet underneath, but... Uh, I kind of messed up. I should have picked either the black or the white uh, Glorious Sound Desk, but you're seeing all of the garbage right now, all of the cable mess, all of the stuff um, where it's like, <laughs> I'm just not that good at hiding this stuff yet and shooting at an angle where you're not going to see where my studio just looks great. Like in the video that I'm editing there, which is a part of this video, it looks pretty good, but 
uh, I just wanted to be open and honest and just kind of give you guys first, I've never figured out cable mess. Like a lot of times, like when I had a studio and we were recording 16 tracks in my basement, like a full live band, there was cables everywhere. It was like a rat's nest. And that's just part of the deal. There are people who are obviously much better at hiding these things. But for me, this is my room where I do a lot of my work. My, my keyboard, my red Nord keyboard is right where it should be because there's times where I'm inspired and I want that thing next to me. Um, so I'm going for functionality, but I am going to clean this place up. I'm still working on it and I'll give you guys updates, but I just wanted to show you the room with an honest look and just be very honest that this is still kind of a mess. So I'm not trying to give off that my my space is perfect not that anyone thought that to begin with but anyway that's it for this part of the video so that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed this at all or got any kind of value out of it at all please hit the like and subscribe there's definitely going to be some videos talking about uh the new mac studio on an m1 chip with monterey and all of the updates that i've had to kind of do just to get things going with pro tools which was 200 bucks um and also i bought a MacBook Pro with an M1 chip and returned it and there's a whole story behind that and so I'm going to make a video on that as well but if you got any value out of this video please uh, like and subscribe also let me know what you think of this room and uh, if you have any questions down below I'd love to hear your guys thoughts and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one